What is poppin' poppies? My name is Sanibus and welcome to I Love You Colonel Sanders. Please love me back. It's a finger looking good dating simulator, which is sort of the same vein of uh, Daddy Dating Simulator if you remember that one. Anyways, I hope you are ready for this because I am not and it came out recently and I'm very excited. So uh, let's get right into it. Never played a dating simulator because I don't do dates at all. <laughs> Nobody loves me. Before we get started, tell us your name. I have found the perfect name. Uh, in short, for Kentucky, I will do Ken for my first name. And for my last name, I will combine fried and chicken for frickin'. So my name... My name will be Ken frickin'. <clears throat> you sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. I'm a student! This is gonna be much better, isn't it? <laughs> The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in the moment forever. <laughs> or you could wake up. Now, now, now! Your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. God, I don't like that. I really don't. Smack that clock! Up and at him! Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School. Academy for learning <laughs> how to cook. With Gordon Ramsay, not sponsored. Your mind begins to wander. You'll need to take this seriously. You allow yourself to daydream a bit, thinking about the future. That, that sounds like me. It's here, finally. Your first day of culinary school. So many dishes to prepare, so many students to meet, so many Kentucky Fried Chicken Colonel Sanders to uh, adore and run after in love and senpai-ishness. Your mind is swimming with possibilities when you realize you're running late. You grab a biscuit and burst out the door in a hurry. Mm -hmm. ah, delicioso. Just what you needed to wake up those taste buds. <laughs> Yikes! You're in such a hurry, in fact, that you forgot to put any deodorant before running out the door. You're sweating buckets as you rush to arrive in time. Uh-oh. Colonel Sanders doesn't like a sweaty boy. Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School. Academy for Learning. Did I mention Academy for Learning? Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. She's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. Oh, that's awesome. Good morning, Ken Frickin! <laughs> Are you excited for the first day of the rest of your life? Oh, I sure am! Ken Frickin is ready! Actually, I'm Ken Frickin. Because I sure am! Excited a little nervous, okay, okay, a lot nervous! What's the... It's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself, but, well, when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? What if Colonel Sanders doesn't like my tweets and say hi to my family when I take him over to visit? Classic Miriam. Raised by Master Chef parents, she's always held herself to a very high standard. Ever since we were little babies playing together and you rescued me from that quicksand box, it's been clear to me that you're the most loving and caring person I know. You're gonna do great, Miriam. <laughs> and that's a Ken frickin' promise! But with University of Cooking School Academy for Learning... I love how they just have to say the full name whenever they talk about the school. <laughs> but with University of Cooking School Academy for Learning's famous three-day only semesters, I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. Three-day only semesters? Okay. I, 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 I'm not catching it. Three days, just three days? A sweet girl. Miriam has always loved to had a flair for the dramatic. This summer she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. <laughs> what? <laughs> Should you pep talk her or change the subject to give her some relief? Let's pep talk her! Miriam needs a pep talk! Remember the last time when we <clears throat> uh, Remember last month when we saw that fortune teller and had our tarot cards read? I don't know what a tarot card is. that like a tarot card but with a T? Why are you still crying, Miriam? The lady with the mask who gave me nightmares? I've been trying to forget. I know, she looks spooky, but she was so sweet. And she told you that you were destined for great things. <laughs> they told me that, but look where I am now. 
<laughs> Remember that card with the fancy looking tower? And that other card featuring the handsome fellow in the red suit? <laughs> I've been waiting for so long to meet a handsome fellow I could call my own. And I'm sure you will soon. I in no time will be graduating and you'll be delighting the world with your heartful cooking in no time at all and why are you still crying? As you talk Miriam up, you can feel her nerves begin to ease. You know what? Maybe everything will be okay after all. And if not, at least I'll have these killer bands! <clears throat> sure, yeah, those are... <laughs> sure, they're, yeah, you're sure, they're, they're killer, of course, of course! They're not, they're not killer, these are killer. Can you believe I cut them myself? Uh, maybe you should just stick to cooking, Miriam. You can definitely believe it. <laughs> Ken Frickin is a savage! Sorry, I don't, I don't know why those words came out of my mouth in that tone. Kind of pissed me off the way I said that, I should. Let's continue, I guess. Uh, I, uh, I, I, I cannot believe it! <laughs> they look like they were done by, uh, uh, I can't believe it. <laughs> Before you can get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring aids spoons out of your hands and onto the ground. Who could it be? Miriam, hey! It's a, it's, it's Astley. Your arch rival. She's totally evil, but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can get anything she wants and she knows it. God darn it! I bet she can cook chicken right the first time. I bet her lamb sauce is always on the table in front of her. I bet her oysters are never raw! Sorry, sorry, I got a little carried away there. Hello, Astley! God, Jesus, what is wrong with your outfit? Should you really be wearing that too? Culinary school, academy for burgerning. That's the words, thank you. Oh, I didn't see you there, chicken chins. Well, <laughs> thank you, I uh, shaved them my- Hey, that's an insult! You leave Ken frickin' shins alone! They're frickin' normal shins. Actually, you know, I <laughs> I shave them every- Sorry! I was an ass- Oh, <clears throat> oh sh- You can't stand Astley. Even her name is annoying. You know- <laughs> I bet it is pronounced Astley, isn't it? You know for a fact that it's actually Astley, but she had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone else. Astley. Wait, who at? Wait, no, no, hold on, hold on. Why would she add letters to her own name? That's not, that's not how names work, right? Can I do that? Can I? What? <laughs> if anyone here knows what perfect shins look like, it's Ken Frickin! We're not gonna let you or your really weird insults and disgustingly normal shins get to us. Across the quad, you see Astley's best friend. Ban Van the Man Man. That's quite the name he's got. I wonder what the story behind that is. I stop to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight you can see his ass as he works his ass. Well, <laughs> he styles his ass. <laughs> no lie, they're rocking ass. I. <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> ah. Ahem. Ban Van the Man Man. You right? Oh my God. That is a holy why what the oh that's ass ass I mean van van the man man <laughs> you've never been sure what their arrangement is but as long as you've known okay you can put your hands down van van <laughs> Ashley and van van have just been as close as you and Miriam but substantially more devious and very more assy there's so much ass in the two of them I just can't even see their faces anymore why does she look so angry why are you angry god damn at least Miriam's not crying anymore Still got her hands in the air like she's Scarlet Witch performing a magic trick on me, but still. At least it's not like this guy over here who's touching his hair like he's some kind of mo- Well, I mean, he does look like a model. Even his apron is Gucci style. It's kind of sad. I can't believe that University of Cooking School Academy for Learning would ever allow people like you to attend a student- Okay, okay, that's a little rude on my part. I'm sorry, I don't know why it's happening right now. I know, right? You'd think they'd just hand us our diplomas now. That! Was a good comeback. That was that was actually pretty good. Now I feel kind of I've been dissembled. Or maybe hire us as a professor. You am just could learn. Okay, you're pushing it, Van Fan. Okay, those eyes are scaring me. You look like Darth Maul with those eyes. I'm not not pushing it. I'm just saying. With the first day of school about to start, there's just not time to properly tell these two off. So you resist your urge. You know, it doesn't seem like I've resisted the urge. I kind of made fun of them already. So let's go, Miriam. Let's just go. Let's go. See you later, losers. God, now I feel like we're the bullies. What are you doing, Miriam? God, go back to crying. Oh my god, what are you? As you approach the door, you see a goofy little kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. 
Okay. Uh, pop. His name is Pop. I mean, he looks like he's eaten enough that he's about to pop, but still. Uh, oopsie. I think it's broken. <laughs> you reach forward and easily pull the door open. No, it's just your bread that's broken. Fuck. I said I tried to say it's your head that's broken, but I said it's bread that. F ah, gosh, ah, guys, it's just not been a good day for me, yeah, is it? Ah, that should do the trick. I love you. Okay, it's a little forward. Maybe we should get dinner first. Actually, looking at you, we should probably not get dinner. I'm not fat shaming. I'm just saying it seems, you know, he's got food on his shirt. It's, you know, probably not the best thing to go eating with this guy in public. I think you mean, thank you? God, I am a dick, aren't I? My name is Pap. I was named after my Pat Pat. He's old. Is he now? Wow. Could someone like this also be a student at the school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob. But I guess he's reading it upside down. If he's reading his own name upside down, how am I expecting this guy to find the frickin' lamb sauce? Miriam, is it just me or is, is he kinda cute? No, he's kind of seven. As in, you should stay away from a kid who's less than half your age. I think it's just you. It is just you, Miriam. You're just really weird. Okay? He's shorter than your banks. And that's saying something. You both shrug your shoulders before following them into the building. <coughs> <coughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm <coughs> you stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. Other students wander in and keep themselves busy chit chatting. Chit chat chit chat chit chat. A scruffy looking. That's a dog! That's a fucking dog! I knew it! This game is crazy! A scruffy looking pooch takes his place at a podium in front of the class. Adorable! Also, adorable! That is a dog about to teach my class! Now, oh, the dog's talking. The dog is fucking talking. Oh, shh. I'm gonna have a heart attack. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's adorable, but I'm not gonna... <laughs> now, now. Quiet down, everyone. <coughs> Who's this unreasonably cute pup? And why is he in our curly name class? Is anybody else questioning the fact that a dog is talking? Is that not weird to anybody? You must be Sprinkles. Head instructor, it's CEO! Of you to oh now you're gonna use the acronym in front of the fucking dog. Okay, Miriam. All right. Please call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and little and fluffy, but I still demand respect. Wolf. What is that? A curse in dog language? What? Why does he have to enunciate with wolf? And look at him. He's fucking adorable. I love him. God. What? A cute dog is our professor. This is the best school ever. Yes. But, like, that dog has to be, like, genetically modified and covered in radiation, right? Like, is there nobody else questioning the fact? Okay. Alright. I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. <coughs> You're gonna just... Okay, we're fine with it. We're fine with it. From, this on, from now on, we're just fine with the dog teaching our class about cooking. Because it's not weird. Out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around you as a swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom like it's that scene in Kung Fu Panda where Oogway finally lets go and moves on because this is how fucking life is! Perfect! I'm chilly. Someone close the- Oh! Oh, look who decided to show up! Someone close the window! I'll do it because I have to do- uh Oh, and then... He- Oh, 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 my heart. Oh my god. Who's this handsome, handsome man? You're immediately swept up in the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. It's him. It's... If it isn't my favorite student, Harland. Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor Dog. Before he can finish his sentence. Please, call me Colonel. Oh my god, I want that man in my room right now cooking me some fried chicken! Colonel Sanders! A hush murmur rolls around the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desks, and then you realize that Van Van and Pop had nothing on this man's ass because it's just struggling back and forth. Suddenly the room is sweltering. Sweat begins to bead across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you and you're not entirely wrong. Maybe we should just open that window back up before faucet pits melts into a puddle and evaporates entirely. First of all, from now on, my gamer tag is faucet pits. 
Second of all, nobody talks to me like that except for the dog and Colonel Sanders. And third of all, put your fucking hands down! <laughs> he actually looked at this. Okay, hold on just a second. Nobody talks to my friend like that. Okay, Miriam, you're not gonna... What is wrong with you? What? Are you scared? Are you mad? What, what's the emotion you're trying to convey here? You two both know my name. We were in the same kindergarten class. And what is it with all this really weird insults? Like, they're not even making me feel bad. I'm just kind of worried about your mental sanity at the moment. Besides, when Ken frickin' sweats, it's not gross. It's beautiful. Look at that shimmer. Okay, Miriam, I appreciate it, but uh, you're gonna have to back off. There's only one man for me, and that's the dog and Colonel Sanders. You turn to find Colonel Sanders standing right in front of you. Oh, do I click on this? Oh, I guess I do. Colonel Sanders, beautiful angel that he is, stands before you, smiling gently, his hand outstretched. Boy, howdy, this classroom gets hotter than a Kentucky fryer. Oh my god. Everything this man says is straight from a goddamn movie. Please, use my handkerchief. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you freeze up. Colonel Sanders is talking to me? He's talking to me. Wait, Colonel Sanders is talking to you. All about how sweaty you look. You're completely mortified. I should have put that gosh damn deodorant on this morning. This can't be your first interaction. What if he never forgets this moment? Because I know I won't forget the moment. The dog is still there! Is the dog not questioning what's going on? Well, then again, nobody's questioning the dog, so I guess we're fine. How will you respond? Take the handkerchief? Refuse it? Why would I refuse it? I'm, God, I'm taking that handkerchief! You stretch out your hand and Colonel Sanders places a fine silk handkerchief in it. It's so beautiful. You hesitate to press it to your face, but when you do, the feeling it transcend tr is transcendent. It has his natural scent on it. It smells of the most delicious chicken you've ever smelled. And I love Kentucky Fried Chicken. Professor Dog steps in to settle this class down and set some ground rules. With a goddamn spatula in his mouth. Welcome to the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. The greatest culinary academy in the world! Top by a dog. The birthplace of culinary legends past, present, and future. Many challenges await you. There will be tears. There will be blood. There may even be dog food. But there will also be adorably tiny food. And when all is said and done, there will be a battle. You lift your sporks and compete in the broom cooking arena. Where there will only be blood, sweat, and soy sauce. Just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the... Who else wants to- Does anyone else want to interrupt the dog? The dog. No, okay. All right. Hi, guys. Sorry I'm late. I hope everyone's had a good summer. I really miss- QUIET! <laughs> the dog's- the dog... Ah! The dog's here! <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> this is awesome. This is Like, the class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue? You're on the fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you even in the right place? I just wish this next line will be, is that it? Is that a dog got, is anybody also worried about a, a dog teaching the class? Don't you recognize me? This is my third year in the school with you as my teacher. Everyone stares at him blankly. Uh, no clue, Do, does no one remember me? I'm, you're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish. Look at him, he's gonna smell his butt. <laughs> just like dog culture. Let that be a lesson to you students that tardiness is unacceptable. Even Clank made it here on time, rolling halfway across town on his tiny wheel. Who is Clank? Who is who is this Clank? You turn. Uh, you turn to see the student Sprinkles is referring to, who appears to be some sort of industrial glitch. Oh, please don't tell me. Okay, no, I shouldn't be surprised at this time. <laughs> the class burst into laughter. That's a little mechanist, if you ask me. <laughs> Oh, Clank, you rascal. Sprinkles walk- I'm- I'm very confused right now, but I'm really loving this class. Sprinkles walks in the classroom, as everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose into the air and takes a deep sniff. Oh, you are one Kentucky Fried Chicken boy. Hmm, your diet is lacking. Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a multivitamin. I don't know how you can smell that off of me, but I'm- Flattered and scared at the same time. You should be taking better care of yourself. 
You've never had a talking dog as a teacher before, but Sprinkle's reputation for being smart but tough is well known. I don't, don't, I don't know about that, but uh, you decide to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket. But what kind? Okay, this could go very well or very wrong, but we're gonna find out next time. I hope you all enjoyed. I really like this. You know, actually, Colonel Sanders. Like, his story is actually really insane. Like, the whole story of him becoming who he is and starting the business, it's really, it's a heartwarming story about, like, try, trial and error, and it's a really motivational story. You should check out his story. But this is a cool game. I like this idea. This is funny as hell, all right? It's crazy enough to be good, and I'm loving it so far. So, I hope you all enjoyed. I'm happy to be back recording, and this is Sediments signing off.